welcome to the Betfred Super League. First impressions of, of life as a Warrington Wolf? Yeah, thanks mate. Uh, I'm super keen to, to be over here and uh, super excited about the new challenge. And uh, First impressions is, is really good. The club are great, um, the boys are great. Um, really looked after me and my partner and um, you know this stadium is great you know it's, it's such a rich and proud club I can't wait to um, get out here and play in front of the fans. What was the selling point for you when you first found out that this was an option? Yeah look the Super League was always on my radar um, probably the selling point was was the Warrington Wolves um, you know they're a really big supporter base uh, which is not too dissimilar to uh, Newcastle back home it really resonated with me um, coming from a blue collar um, town in Newcastle and, and the way the fans are, um, are are very similar to the Newcastle fans and um, you know I think all the players who, who play for Warrington just want to make their fans proud and um, you know I'm looking forward to doing that. Have you spoken to anyone who's played over here about what it's like playing in the Betfred Super League? Yeah, I have. I've got a few mates uh, that are playing in this league at the moment. A few ex-players at the Knights in Luke Yates and Sione Mataudia. So, um, you know, bouncing some ideas off them and also speaking to a past player in uh, Jackson Hastings who was at the Knights last year. Um, had some really good chats to him about what the Super League's like and what to expect. So, um, after chatting to them, it'll, it just made me more and more keen. I want to get over here and give it a crack. And, um, yeah, February can't come quick enough. Jackson Hastings had some fairly special nights in this competition. Did he explain to you about what the crowds are like and the atmospheres? Yeah, he did. Look, um, you know, in the NRL, I think you know they might get 18 odd thousand, and but what, what, the way he likes to put it here, there could be you know eight to ten thousand here, and it feels like 50 thousand. So um, I know the crowds are, are much more vocal over here, and, and um, you really feel that as a footy player being on the field. Um, so. That's one of the main things I'm looking forward to come February is playing in front of um, you know the Super League crowd, but but more importantly the Warrington home fans, and um, hopefully we can make them proud this year. You're coming into a club that's going for a real kind of period of change. At the heart of that is a man that you'll know a lot about in, in Sam Burgess. But what's Sam Burgess been like as a coach so far? Yeah, really good. Um, you know, Sam's an inspirational leader that you know everyone um, believes in, trusts, and everyone wants to follow. He did that as a footy player, and he's doing that now as a coach. And um, you know, where he's going to be successful over here, but you know, it's up to us boys. You know, the squad of 36 or however many we have to to make sure his time over here is successful. And um, as a squad, like you said, we've got a pretty strong squad, and uh, now it's just about doing the getting the job done. Um, Sam's been really good this past month. He's instilled some some really good things that um, going forward will will hold us in good stead in the back end of the year. And have you kind of had any time to think or learned, looked at maybe some of the subtle differences in terms of the style of football? compared to the NRL? Yeah, look, it, uh, I have watched um, a bit of Super League over the past you know, 18 months and um, you know, the footy tends to be a real attacking, wide-based um, style of footy. Move, like to move the ball around a lot, um, which is something I'm really looking forward to on both sides in, in defence and in attack. So, um, you know, we've been doing some initial um, attacking work at training, but um, the main focus is, is our defence and um, getting them systems in place so that's going to rectify them, them long attacking shapes in, in the Super League. So you're adding to what is already quite a, a sizeable, formidable looking forward pack. You must be really excited about some of the players you've got around you. Yeah, I can't wait. Um, obviously, we've got Big Zane, who's, who's come on board this year, new with me. I'm looking forward to playing with him. Uh, likes of Paul Vaughan, international player. Um, James Harrison's come off a really good year. Danny Walker, likewise, Ben Curry. And, you know, it's a star-sided side. Um, you know, I think there's a few internationals in the squad there and, and a couple of really promising young players. And um, you know, you can have the, you can have the best squad in the team, uh, squad in the league, but it's about putting them performances on the field, back-to-back -back weeks, and, and getting the job done at the end of the week, and then uh, winning the big dances. So, um, you know, we've got a really strong squad, and um, we just got to make sure every week we're improving and um, be there in the back end of the year. It, it was a disappointing end to the season for, for Warrington in terms of the second half of last year. That it's a club that's had the, the grand final Super League trophy in its sights for a while, but not quite got there. Has that been spoken about early on, that that is the aim, to, to lift the big one? Look, that's, that's everyone's aim at the start of the year. Um, you don't go through pre-season struggles, pre-season pre running and, and everything, not to not to give yourself every chance to, to win the big dance at the end of the year. And um, I know that's definitely the goal of ours. It's, there's no point in having um, anything short of winning the big dance. And um, you know, I believe, and the squad believes, Sam believes, all the coaches believe that um, you know we can get it done this year. So, um, like I said before, it's just about us 
it's up to us now to um, you know rip into this preseason and and keep improving each week, and then uh, once February comes around, you know win the footy games. Well, thanks for your time, mate. Best of luck this year.